hey guys what's up welcome back so today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the profunda femoris artery so it is one of the largest branch of the femoral artery and is a, it is also a chief source of blood supply to all the three compartments of the thigh it is a largest branch of the femoral artery and it is also a chief source of blood supply to all the three compartments of the thigh that is the anterior compartment medial compartment and the posterior compartment actually when it comes to the thigh this is the inguinal ligament extending from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle so this is the extension of the external iliac artery just as it goes down below the inguinal ligament it is known as the femoral artery and lateral to the femoral artery arises the profound femoral artery about 4 cm below the inguinal ligament as it goes 4 cm below the inguinal ligament the profunda femoris artery it will give a branch known as the medial circumflex femoral artery medial circumflex femoral artery and then it will continue as the lateral circumflex femoral artery from the lateral circumflex femoral artery we have three branches we have the ascending branch the transverse branch and the descending branch and then we have another one that is known as the muscular branch and it will give three perforating arteries one two three and the fourth perforating artery is itself continue below it and then we have a medial circumflex femoral artery going behind the thigh so this is about general thing that you need to know now when it comes to branches of the profunda femoris artery firstly we have the muscular branches muscular branches what about the muscular branches these are the arteries that i was talking about these are this is the muscular branch and these are the four perforating branches and these muscular branches they supply to the all the muscles of the anterior compartment and medial and posterior compartment of the thigh and then we have a second branch which is known as the medial circumflex femoral artery medial circumflex femoral artery we also have a third branch which is known as the lateral circumflex femoral artery lateral circumflex femoral artery and then we have a four perforating arteries four perforating arteries so basically branches of the profound femoral artery we have the muscular branches supplying to the muscles we have the medial circumflex femoral artery the lateral circumflex femoral artery and also about a four perforating arteries just a brief discussion about the muscular branches this must this is the muscular branch and they supply to the muscles of the compartments of the thigh and then we have the four perforating arteries these perforating arteries are number 1 2 3 and fourth one is the continuation they are the four perforating arteries from the profunda femoris artery now we'll go into detail about the medial circumflex femoral artery as well as the lateral circumflex femoral artery about all of their divisions and where do they supply so stick to the video till the end and if you are new here make sure to subscribe and hit the like button so we are left with the two more discussions right one is the medial circumflex femoral artery and then we have a lateral circumflex femoral artery so what about the medial circumflex femoral artery it is going to give four branches what are those we have a ascending branch then we have a transverse branch we have an acetabular branch and then we also have a posterior retinacular branch we have four branches from the medial circumflex femoral artery we have the ascending branch transverse branch acetabular branch and the retinacular branch from the lateral circumflex femoral artery we have an ascending branch transverse branch then we have a descending branch this is from the lateral circumflex femoral artery now what about the ascending transverse and acetabular and retinacular branches of the medial circumflex femoral artery ascending branch will take part in the cruciate anastomosis it will take part in the cruciate anastomosis the transverse branch will take part in the trochanteric anastomosis trochanteric anastomosis and the acetabular branch will supply to the uh, uh, transverse acetabular ligament it will supply to the transverse acetabular ligament and then we have a posterior retinacular branches they are supply to the head and neck of the femur head and neck of the femur 
that is what they will supply. So, this is about the medial cervical femoral artery and what are all the different branches of it and where does it supply. So, now let us move on to the lateral cervical plus femoral artery. We have an ascending and transverse branch, right? They both will form the uh, what they will form? They form the cruciate anastomosis on the back of the thigh. They form cruciate anastomosis on the back of the thigh. And then we have a descending branch, it will pass uh, anterior to the border of the vastus lateralis and then it will continue to form anastomosis around the knee, anastomosis around the knee. So, this is about the branches of the lateral circumflex femoral artery and where does it supply and medial circumflex femoral artery its branches and where does it supply. So, this is about the anatomy of the profound femoral artery, what are the different branches of profound femoral artery and what are the all the muscles and ligaments and uh, structures that they are supplying. So, a small clinical significance about the profound femoral artery. Uh, so, the profound femoral artery is of great clinical importance because it is deeply located and lies in close proximity to the femoral shaft. Hence, it is also more prone to injury in the fracture of the femoral shaft. Therefore, the artery is also liable to injury during the surgical procedure of fixing the metal accrues generally in the femur by an orthopedic surgeon. So, that is what you need to remember and as always see you until next time.